Hey friends, this week's recipe for agar agar and mock pomegranate seeds is a delicious dessert that is refreshing and cooling, just perfect for the warmer months. In this video, I'll share two different methods for making the mock pomegranate seeds and some tips and tricks for guaranteed success. This dessert has a few different components and the recipes are straightforward. To make the jelly, you will need water, agar agar powder, and sugar. The mashed mung bean requires peeled split mung bean, salt, water, and sugar. For the simple syrup, water, sugar, and a pandan leaf. I shared the coconut sauce recipe earlier, so please click the link or see my channel for the video. In this first recipe for the mock pomegranate seeds, you will need canned water chestnuts, tapioca starch, and red food color. For recipe number two, water, tapioca starch, and red food color. Feel free to substitute the red food color with beet juice for a more natural alternative. Starting with the mung beans, wash the beans several times with cold water until the water is mostly clear. Let the beans soak for at least 4 hours or overnight. After soaking, give the beans another quick rinse with cold water and then drain well. Transfer the beans into a rice cooker along with salt and water. Spread out the beans into an even layer. Close the lid and let cook for the allotted time. When it's done cooking and switches over to the keep warm setting, unplug the rice cooker. Pop the lid open and add the sugar. Working quickly, use a paddle spoon to mash the mung bean and mix in the sugar. Close the lid and allow to cook for another 10 minutes using the residual heat. Transfer the mashed mung bean to a bowl. The consistency should be like mashed potatoes. The mung bean has a tendency to thicken when cooled, so if making this ahead, add some boiling water and mix to get the right consistency again. To make the simple syrup, add sugar and water into a small saucepan. Cook over medium heat and stir until the sugar is dissolved. When the syrup just starts to boil, turn off the heat and add the pandan leaf. Allow to cool before transferring to a serving bowl. To make the jelly component of this dessert, in a medium saucepan add the agar agar powder and water. Combine together and let the mixture rest for 15 minutes. Cook over medium heat and stir continuously to dissolve the powder. Add the sugar and continue stirring, bringing the mixture to a boil. Reduce the heat and allow to simmer for two to three minutes. During this time, skim off the foam and discard. Pour the hot jelly mixture into a glass container or bowl. Again, skim off any bubbles. Let it cool on the counter for about an hour or so. Run a knife around the container to loosen the jelly and then cut into bars. Using a mandolin with a blade for thick cuts, shred the jelly. Cover and chill in the refrigerator until it's time to serve. Here's recipe number one for the mock pomegranate seeds. Drain the canned water chestnuts and then give it a quick rinse with cold water. Cut each of the water chestnuts into small pieces. Transfer just half of the water chestnuts into a bowl. Add the red food coloring or beet juice and combine well. Add the tapioca starch and combine together, making sure the water chestnuts are evenly coated. Transfer to a fine colander or sieve. Toss gently to remove the excess starch. Fill a large bowl with ice water and keep it close by. Bring a large pot of water to a rapid boil. Add a big spoonful of the mock pomegranate seeds and stir so they don't stick together. Continue adding more spoonfuls and stirring until they're all added. Reduce the heat to low and cook until everything floats to the top, approximately 2-3 to three minutes. Place into the ice bath and let soak for just a minute. Now transfer to a serving bowl, leaving the water behind. Repeat the same steps to make the second batch. The mock seeds have a tendency to stick together if too many are cooked at once, so it's best to cook in two separate batches. For mock pomegranate seeds recipe number 2, start by lining a pan with several sheets of paper towels. Add half cup tapioca starch to the water and stir until dissolved. Continue adding small amounts of the tapioca starch and mixing well. As more starch is added, the mixture should start to thicken. The starch settles really quickly, so don't let it sit for too long. Stir everything one more time and then pour it into the pan. Place a few paper towels on top and then pat down gently. Here the paper towels are helping to soak up the excess water. Let it rest for 5 minutes. Now remove the paper towels from the top. The starch mixture should be solid now and slightly moist. Combine the red food color with water. Brush the color over the surface, coating it evenly. 
Next, place a cutting mat over the pan. Flip it over. Remove the pan and the bottom layer of paper towels. Brush this side with the red food color as well. Let it rest until the surface is dry, approximately 10 to 15 minutes. Using a sharp knife, cut into thin strips, about a quarter inch thick. Now repeat the cutting in the other direction to make small squares. Use a spatula to lift and separate the pieces, and then gently break them apart along the cut lines. Again, bring a large pot of water to a rapid boil. Sprinkle large spoonfuls of the mock seeds into the water. Be careful not to dip the spoon in the water or everything will stick together. Use chopsticks or another spoon to stir everything. Cook over medium-low heat, boiling gently for 10 minutes. Stir frequently to prevent sticking. Once done cooking, transfer to the ice bath. Just look how beautiful they are. The mock seeds are translucent with white centers, resembling real pomegranate seeds. To assemble this dessert, add some crushed ice into a large glass. Next, add the agar agar jelly, sweet mashed mung bean, and the mock pomegranate seeds made from water chestnuts. Drizzle on some creamy coconut sauce and simple syrup for some added sweetness. Mix together and enjoy. The second recipe using all tapioca starch is definitely chewier, not quite as crunchy, but equally scrumptious. Try both recipes and let me know which one you like most. Hi, I hope you've enjoyed this easy how-to video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post below. For full recipes, check out runawayrice.com. I work on new recipes each week, so please subscribe to my channel to stay tuned. This is Trang wishing you good eating and good health. Thanks for watching.